Your mom's about to be really upset. I'm gonna show you how to make the best sweet potato casserole ever. It's got marshmallows, it's got pecans, it's crazy, you're gonna love it. This is my favorite little hack for this recipe. These might look a little different than the sweet potatoes you're used to using because instead of boiling the sweet potatoes, we've roasted them. When you roast your sweet potatoes, you just get a lot more flavor out of the potatoes themselves. They're way more caramelized, super delicious, and just all around better for the casserole. So we just gotta mash them. I have to admit something. <laughs> I actually didn't grow up with sweet potato casserole. Only like two years ago, I went to my friend's Thanksgiving and they had it there. And I was like, what is this masterpiece? Is it dessert? Is it a side? Do you eat it with turkey? I honestly still don't know the answer to any of these questions, but I know that it's delicious and it belongs on the Thanksgiving table, especially this one. You could also use a food processor for this, but it's kind of nice to have like a variation in texture, so I like leaving it a little bit less than perfectly smooth. They're mashed. The next few steps are super easy. We're just dumping everything in and giving it a big mix. I'll do eggs first brown sugar, and one of our favorite parts about this recipe is the brown sugar. We use dark brown sugar instead of regular light brown sugar, and that's because it just doubles up on that caramelized flavor that you're looking for in a sweet potato casserole, and it makes it so good. Vanilla, a teaspoon. We have a half a cup of milk, eight tablespoons of butter. Don't feel bad about it, it's Thanksgiving. What's one more stick of butter? It's Thanksgiving. I think the secret ingredient in every single dish in Thanksgiving dinner is a stick of butter. I can't think of anything that I don't use a stick of butter in when I make stuff. You rub it on the turkey, you put it in the mashed potatoes, and here's the salt. Give this a big whisk. It really comes together so fast, which is really nice when you are preparing such an intense, laborious meal, so you can focus all your energy on other things like turkey and making sure you have enough wine and all that jazz. So now that we've got our mixture, we can transfer it to our baking dish. We have a nine by 13 baking dish. Now it is time for us to make our toppings. The pecan topping is super simple. You could spice it up if you wanted with like nutmeg or cinnamon, but since we're keeping it on the like savory sweet side, we're just sticking to sugar, butter, flour, and pecans. Again, we're using that dark brown sugar for a more caramelized flavor. And I'm gonna mix it with this all-purpose flour. And now I'm gonna add our butter. It's similar to making like a crumble topping for like an apple crumble or something, but it's for delicious sweet potatoes. We've got that all mixed, looks good. And now we're just adding our toasted pecans. We got one cup of them. All right, that's looking pretty nicely mixed. The next step is coating the top of our sweet potatoes with this mixture. So you can just use your hand for this. And we're just sprinkling all over the surface of our sweet potatoes. Clean hands. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, marshmallows. Many people say that it's not sweet potato casserole without marshmallows. Other people say marshmallows ruin sweet potato casserole. I'm gonna leave that one up to you. We're gonna do both, because why not? But do you, you know, I know. Marshmallows aren't for everybody. So this is going in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes until the sweet potatoes are set and the marshmallows are golden. Let's do it. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's check on it. <gasps> She's beautiful. I just gotta taste it to make sure it's safe to serve to the fam, you know? Just gotta make sure I get a bite with a little bit of everything on it. Oh, it's hot. It's so good. It's actually not too sweet at all, despite how much sugar we've used. It's really creamy. It's got a little crunch from the pecan topping, and obviously the marshmallows are great, as usual. This is an A-plus sweet potato casserole, in my opinion. I would love if you gave it a try. Maybe it'll be better than your mom's. If there's something you want me to make, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you have any tips for an amazing sweet potato casserole, drop those too.